Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hero Techies and this is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. In this video, let's talk about how to handle this HTTP put and delete request in NGRX EFX. Okay, let me go to my application. We can start our changes from these actions. So in these actions, we have this update block and also this delete block. Okay. So similarly, I'm going to create two more actions. The one is update block success and another one is the delete block success. Okay. First, let me declare the variables. Update block. Then update block success. So similarly, I'm going to add for the delete. Okay. So let me save this one instead of this hard code value. Let me use this update block. Okay. So next time creating the new action for this update block success. Okay. So here also the prob is same, same block model only. Next in our delete block. So here also first I am changing this hard code value. After that I am creating one new action. Success. So let me save this one. Next let me get back to our service side. So in this master service I already created this get all blocks and also this uh, create block. I'm going to create create one more new action for this update block okay so the input is same only the request type is put and in this put we have to pass this key value blog input dot id okay Okay, this is fine. Here this additional pipe is not required. So let me remove this one. Similarly, I'm going to create one more method for the delete. Delete block. So the input is blog ID. Also the data type is number. And the request to type is delete. So let me save this one. Next in our effect side, I'm going to create one more new section for our update. Update block. Okay, this is fine. Next in this action type, we can provide this update block. Okay. And in this service, we have to call this update services. So the input is same. So in this service basically not returning any value. Next we have to dispatch this update block success. Okay. Next whatever data I received from this action. I am going to pass our update block success. Okay. Okay action dot input. I believe this is not needed. Okay, this is fine. So let me save this one. Okay, this is fine. Next, I am going to create one more effect for the delete. Delete block. And our action type is delete block. And in this service, uh, we have to call this delete block. And our input is block ID only. ID okay once the action is completed we have to dispatch this delete block success and here we have to pass the prob is block ID okay ID and in this ID we have to pass the same ID only that's fine okay let me save this one so now our final change in our reducer side, okay? 
so previously we added this update block and also this delete block so here after this update block is not needed so instead of that I am going to include as update block success okay so whatever data I am receiving from this action I am adding this into our underscore block variable after that we are generating loop for this block list and we are checking so if the ID is matching we are just replacing the particular content okay so final data will be added into our block list similarly for this delete action also we are just ignoring the particular ID information and the final block information added into our state okay so let me save this one so the most of the changes we have done so currently we don't have any changes in our component set because uh, in my previous videos already I have covered anyway let me show you what are the changes I have done first in our block list I have this uh, remove block function so if you are going to our TS file see I am just confirming are you sure want to remove this record if yes I am dispatching this delete block action okay and here I am passing the particular block ID so once it is dispatched it is going to the effect side so in this effect we are calling our services uh, once the request is succeeded we are dispatching this delete block success so next in our delete block success in our reducer side we made a changes right the same changes it is just removing the particular record from our actual state this is for the delete functionality so the same way for the update function so in this edit scenario I am populating the existing record into our reactive forms okay so when I am clicking this save button I am able to get the complete form information so here if it is the edit scenario I am dispatching this update block okay so here also the request directly goes to our effect side so in this effect we are uh, calling our services uh, once we got the success response we are dispatching this update block response through these actions we are updating our final state okay that is happening in our reducer side so in this area okay so this is all about the changes now let me run this application and we can verify let me remove this test record if I am clicking are you sure one remove okay see the record got removed even if I am refreshing also the data was not there because it is removed from our db.json file so we can verify so we have these six records only now I am trying to remove this python also see it is got removed see so now I am trying to update this one angular 16 so it is updated and I am trying to update this description also it is updated so even if I am refreshing also it is working fine so this is the way we have to handle this put and delete request in our ngrx cfx now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching